I take a book and place it on my hand and accelerate my hand to your left. As you can see, the book came along with the hand, dragged along by friction. Let's perform a small experiment. Extend your palm like so. And on this palm, let's place an object. This purple rectangular object. And what we are going to do now is we are going to move our palm to the left. Since the palm starts with zero velocity and picks up velocity, it is now accelerating to the left. You find that it carries the object with it. That is because there is a frictional force between the palm and the object. Suppose there was no friction between the two. If I now accelerate my palm to the left, it's going to slide away from under the object and the object will simply drop down. So it is quite clear that it is friction that accelerated that purple object to the left. Which means the force of friction on the purple object is to the left. Let's go back and introduce friction again. Here we have the object on our hand and there is friction. And when we accelerate our hand to the left, the object goes along to the left, which means the object accelerated to the left, which means the frictional force acted in the same direction as motion on the object. In fact, it was friction that caused the acceleration. So what happened to friction opposes motion? The blue rectangle represents the palm, the hand, and the purple rectangle represents the object on top of the hand. To understand the direction of friction when we move either the object or the palm, we need to zoom in and take a good look at the surfaces between which the force of friction acts. Let's do that. When we do that, we find that the two surfaces are not really perfectly smooth. In fact, perfectly smooth surfaces don't exist. All surfaces have little hills and valleys and ridges and so forth. Of course, in this drawing, I've exaggerated that very highly, but usually there are hills and valleys and ridges, but they're much smaller than this. Now you can imagine that if I take the object and press it down on the hand, then that some of the hills and valleys interlock. Now, when I place the object on my hand, the weight of the object, that is the force with which the gravity is pulling it down, presses the object against the hand. And when the hills and valleys, some of them interlock, you can now see that if I move my hand to the left, it'll drag the book or the object along with it. In that case, the force of friction is in the same direction as the motion. In fact, it is the force of friction that carries the book along with my hand. On the other hand, so to speak, if I keep my hand fixed and try to slide the object over my hand, you can see that the hills and valleys out here, which are interlocked, will try to prevent it. And now the force of friction will act opposing the motion. So my suggestion is, instead of memorizing a sentence like friction opposes motion, I would suggest dump that sentence. Instead, concentrate on the two surfaces and look at the hills and valleys and try to decide for yourself which will be the direction of friction. Once again, if I move the blue object to the left, 
you can see that it will drag the purple object alongside with it. So the force of friction will be to the left if I move the blue object to the left. On the other hand, if I keep the blue object fixed and drag the purple object to the left, then the hills and valleys will resist that and there will be a force of friction opposing the motion. So sometimes the force of friction will cause the motion, will be in the same direction as the motion and sometimes it will be opposite to the motion. But please keep in mind friction also comes as an action-reaction pair. For example, if I am going to drag the blue object to the left, that is move my hand to the left, the force of friction on the purple object will be to the left. Who is exerting that? The blue object. And what is the reaction to that? The reaction to that is the purple object will exert an equal and opposite force on my hand to the right. So when I try to slide my hand to the left, there will be an opposing force on my hand. But on the purple object, there will be a force in the same direction as the motion. 